Kaveh. I'm a poet. I'm the co-founder of Kaveh Kaveh. And I'm here to read poetry and play some music. But the problems are still, you know, problems. But, um, but, but you know, we've, they, they've changed. They have changed in, in the sense that you, you now have a place where you know there's an organization that's, that's out there looking for you and knows who you are. And, you know, so, so, so even if you're not in Comic Con, you know there's another organization out there that, that, you know, that, 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 that sort of is oriented towards, you know, your writing and your, and your life. And that sometimes really helps. And now we're starting to think about what the next phase of Comic Con is, is, is going to be. And what does, that, what does that mean? And we're asking ourselves those questions right now, you know. It's a good thing for the founders to know enough to know that they have to have space for new people you know, and, and, and for new ideas. The, the draft tells you. If, you, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you are really being honest with the page, you will know. Most people know. You know, and workshops are very, very uh, efficient and they, and they speed up the writing process. But basically, I think for, for beginning writers, it's being, learning to be comfortable with the truth of the draft. It was um, uh, Gregory Orr and, and Charles Wright. And I sat in on the undergrad class. I drive from, uh, from uh, around Lynchburg. Um, Virginia to, to Charlottesville once a week, sitting on a class. And one of the things that I thought was, that was fabulous about those two guys was that even though they came at it from different angles, they usually agreed, but they agreed on their own, but what, what the draft of the poem was about, but they, they agreed on their own terms. And they did it without fighting among themselves or trying to up, upstage the other, or, you know, show how, how, how brilliant the other one was. And, 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 you know, they just had this wonderful way of talking to them, to each other, that really showed you the different ways they saw the poem. You know, um, if I remember correctly, um, Greg sort of went through it more emotionally and then got to the to technical stuff. Charles would go through the technical stuff to get to the emotion, right? And at some point they sort of just sort of met. And it was, it was a beautiful thing to see. Thinking about this in the context of, of what was um, considered to be uh, acceptable subject matter for, for writing poetry back when, when in the late 70s, early 80s when I started writing poetry, I started really taking it a little more seriously. You know, you couldn't talk about sex, you know, you couldn't talk about, you know, uh, you know uh, identity, you couldn't talk about, um, you, you know, you certainly couldn't talk about politics. And politics was just a narrowly defined term back then, right? Anything that, that you know, the, you know, so 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 they so those these poets are just just fearless. They're absolutely fearless. I mean, if you interviewed someone, they'd probably tell you how afraid they are, and you know, but, you know, and I understand that these things happen with your life, and you have to push through certain things. But in the workshop, they are fearless. They they um, basically just nothing's going to stop these guys from becoming the poets that they, they want to be, and nothing is going to talk them out of, you know, uh, of, of, of arriving uh, to that voice, you know, to find that voice, you know, that they know, they know is deep inside them, that they know has to say the things they need to say.